So here we have 300 plus something equals 800, and we need to find the missing number. So on our number line, we can write 300 and 800 and find the difference. So adding 100 gives us 400, then another 100 gives us 500, then 600, 700, and now we've reached our total 800. So we added 100 five times, and five lots of 100 is 500. So that's our missing number. But there is an easier way to get our missing number. Notice that 300 and 800 are both multiples of 100. We know that because they both end in two zeros. They both have zeros in the tens and units place values. Well, missing number problems with multiples of 100 are really just as easy as our usual missing number problems. So if we ignore our tens and units, we have 3 plus something equals 8. Now, you probably know, or you could probably work out, that 3 plus 5 equals 8. But we can't just write 5, because 300 plus 5 is 305, not 800. So, we need two zeros after the 5 to show that we don't just have 5, we have five hundreds. Here we have a number family triangle. We have 300 and 500 at the bottom and 800 at the top because 300 plus 500 is 800. But if we know this, we also know three other facts. We know that 500 plus 300 is 800 because with addition, order doesn't matter. We also know that 800 minus 500 is 300, and 800 minus 300 is 500, because remember, in a number family triangle, when you subtract one of the bottom numbers from the top number, you get the other bottom number. And we can see how these facts relate to the number facts we already know. All that is different with what we've done is that rather than 3, 5 and 8, we have 300, 500 and 800. So pause the video and work out what you have to add to 600 to get 900. Well, we could count on a number line, so from 600 we count 700, 800, 900. We added 100 three times, so that's 300. But without using a number line, we might still be able to answer this question, because both of the numbers we have in the question are multiples of 100. So if we ignore our tens and units, we have 6 plus something is 9. Now you can easily work out that 6 plus 3 is 9, but we don't want to just write 3 because 600 plus 3 is 603, not 900. So we need to show that this 3 stands for 300s, stands for 300. So we need zeros in our tens and units columns. And again, we can draw a number family triangle. And because we know that 600 plus 300 is 900, we also know three related facts. What else do we know? We know that 300 plus 600 is 900. 900 minus 300 is 600, and 900 minus 600 is 300. And we can see that because we have multiples of 100 with 600, 300, and 900, our number family facts are very similar to our facts for 6, 3, 
and 9. 